Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to keep text within the bounds of the cell that you've entered it into. So you can see in this product list, many of the product names are spinning over into the adjacent column, which kind of mucks up the whole readability of this table. Now, the obvious answer to this might be just to widen the column. But if for whatever reason you don't want to do that, then we need some other solutions. So I'm going to go through four solutions for you. Now, the first solution is to apply the fill alignment to the cells with the text values in. So to do that, just select all your text values. And then we need to go into the format cells dialog box. And you can do that with a right click and format cells or control one on your keyboard need to make sure you are on the alignment tab and under text alignment horizontal choose fill click on OK and you can see it no longer spills the text values into adjacent cells one thing to notice though that fill will repeat the values within your cells to fill up the cell so you can see here I had the word walk in this cell now I have two walks and if I widen the column, it'll just say walk, 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 walk. So in many cases, that's not the ideal solution. Now the next method is going to use wrap text. A wrap text will create multiple lines within a cell. Now to do this, again, you select your cells, home tab of your ribbon, there's a wrap text button. And what you'll see is that it actually heightens the rows in order to show the multiple rows within each cell. Now, if that's okay for you, you can just leave it like that. But if you don't like that look, let's undo it. What you should do first is go to Format, Row Height, and then just click on OK, and then go to Wrap Text. Okay, let's go on to the next solution. Text will not spill over into adjacent cells if there is a value in that cell. So you can see wherever I have the word low in the stock level column, it does truncate the product name. Now, if I put a space in one of these stock level cells where I don't have the word low, you can see that it also truncates the product name. Now, I don't want to have to do that manually for each of these stock level cells. So there is a nice and quick way of doing this. So I'm going to select all those stock level cells then Control G on my keyboard opens the Go To dialog box. Click on Special, select Blanks, click on OK. Then type a space and use Control Enter to confirm. And that will have entered a space into all of those selected cells. Right, final option. I don't know whether I'd use this, but I'll show you anyway. I'm going to select these cells and I'm going to shrink the text values to fit the cells. And to do that, you need to go to Format Cells. So that was either right click, Format Cells, or Control One. And you have this option here, Shrink to Fit. And you can see that it modifies the font size of each of these product names to fit the cell width. And some of them are very hard to read and you can see the font sizes are all different. So I'm not sure if I'd use that method. Now let's look at a little bit more detail on this behavior. So we can see that if the text exceeds the width of the cell, then it spills by default into adjacent cells, but it won't do that if the adjacent cell is not empty. And it won't do that if the adjacent cell is merged. We've seen that it won't do that if the text is wrapped. The next reason is that show formula is on. Now show formula is on the formulas tab show formulas and this is used to view all the formulas on your sheet but it also prevents text values from spilling now you wouldn't normally have that display mode on but you may have turned it on by mistake so it's always worth checking that option next reason cell alignment is set to fill we've already looked at that and the last reason why a value doesn't spill into adjacent cells is that it's numeric so numeric values don't spill if they can't fit the width of the column, 
they'll either show as hashes or in scientific format. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please do subscribe and I'll see you next video.